Elizabeth and I'm a certified personal trainer and nutritionist and today I have a ballet inspired leg and booty workout that requires no equipment. The workout begins with a warm up with the workout itself and we have cool down stretches before we're done. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and if you'd like to help contribute you can go to my channel page in the about there's a link for donations. Before I begin, I have an inspirational phrase to share with you. It says, our limited perspective, our hopes and fears become our measure of life. When circumstances don't fit our ideas, they become our difficulties. And so what this means is that our expectations ruin our reality. When we believe something should be a certain way or people should do certain things for us, it basically removes the gratitude from us. and. I learned this the hard way. Um, in my life, I had dated someone who really played up Valentine's Day for me, and even though they weren't a really great person, <laughs> the other days of the year, they always made that day special. And we ended up splitting, and later I met someone else, and I really liked that person, and when we went to share our first Valentine's Day together, they didn't say Happy Valentine's Day, and I worked that day, and I w they never asked me out, <laughs> and they were occupied with another female, and I, at that point, was trying to um, remove unwholesome emotions from myself, meaning that I ended feelings of jealousy, anger, and it was a something that I was really working towards. So I didn't complain about this other female, and eventually that day I went to bring them their gifts for Valentine's Day, and they didn't take me out <laughs> or do anything for me, and I was really hurt. And I told them that, and I told them that I didn't want to be with them anymore. <laughs> And they told me that because I complained, they would never do anything for me. <laughs> and um, I'm not trying to bash this person or uh, make them seem like a bad person at all because I don't think that uh, what I'm trying to show is that that was like my finding the light moment. Um, I started thinking about it after it and I realized that my expectations ruined reality that I was thinking that this person was going to do lots of wonderful things for me to celebrate our love and when they didn't I was really disappointed and if I just had thought of it like another day it wouldn't have hurt so bad and that has helped me because now instead of expect expecting things I just expect nothing so when something does happen I appreciate it a whole lot more and so now we can begin our workout. The first thing that I have is a hurdle step and it's going to open up the hips. So what you'll be doing is you're going to lift your leg up and around like you're stepping over a baby gate and then switch sides and we'll be alternating for 10. is a down dog pedal and it's going to get blood pumping throughout the knees and ankles and it's going to stretch the calves and hamstrings. So you're going to fall down and then you're going to alternate pedaling your feet for 20. workout. So the first thing that we have is a curtsy with a forward brush and this is going to work the sides of the booty and it's also going to work the quad. So what you're going to do is you're going to curtsy and then you're going to take this front leg here and as you come up give a brush forward and that's the part that's going to work the quad. So we're going to do that for eight on each leg.
part of the glue. So you're going to brush back and then knee bend. Knee bend. There we go. And we're also going to do that eight times on each leg. to our next exercise which is going to be a balancing or body control workout or exercise rather. So what we'll be doing is a warrior two and you're going to push off your leg to a tree. So it looks like this, warrior two, push off this leg, tree, control yourself as you lower again. So we'll do that for eight on each side. to our next movement which is going to be a what I like to call a dancer's side lunge and an arabesque. So what this looks like is a sort of side lunge but your leg is going to come out at a diagonal. So it looks like this, legs at a diagonal and then with this back leg here you're going to kick up. You should feel a contraction in the side of your booty and you should feel the muscles working in your front leg as well. So we're going to do eight on each side. to our next exercise, which is going to be a cat stance deadlift to a curtsy. So what you'll be doing is you're going to have one leg up, another one straight, you're going to hinge down, you should feel your hamstring having uh, tautness of being pulled, and then from here you're going to come up, bring that leg back for a curtsy, and we're going to do five on each side. Next thing that we have is a plie pulse, and then we're going to do a hop together, or feet hop together, hop. So what you're doing is you're going to open your legs wide apart with your toes pointed out, plie, give a bounce, and then up, and click your legs together. So we're going to do that six times. Cool down. 
down stretches. So our travel to the floor. And the first thing we have is an intense hip stretch. So from this position, you'll take your leg up and lean forward. You should be really feeling the stretch here on the outside of your hip. After a brief pause, switch sides. And then our last stretch is for the hip flexors. So we'll be doing a hip twist, but we're adding in an ankle, ankle grasp to make it more intense. You're going to grab your ankles and then rock your legs side to side. So I'll alternate for 10. concludes our ballet inspired leg and booty no equipment workout. I hope you enjoyed it. Please check out more of my other videos on YouTube on Wellness by Elizabeth and like, subscribe, and share.